Okay, so so far we've been able to set up our quiz app to be able to respond to clicks and then display if the answer is correct or wrong. So when we click on C, it says you're wrong. When we click on Java, it says you're correct. So what we're going to do now is that we will implement a feature so that whenever we click on an option, it takes us to the next question. So before I just go ahead and start doing that, I want to just make changes to some of the variable names here. So we have this function expression here that says on quiz star. And actually what it does is that it loads the question when the quiz starts. But I want to change the name so that it's kind of similar to what it actually does. So instead of calling it on quiz start, I'm going to call it load question. Okay. So I changed it in three places here on um, amounted when we start the quiz and we returned it. Okay, so save. I just make sure that it's still working because we just changed the name. Okay, fine, still working. Okay, so that when we actually load in a question, we know that we're calling load question. So what we're gonna do here is when we want to load a question, we want to check if actually out of questions or we still have more questions to load and since the questions come in in an array we can check for the length of the array and we can also check for the position at which we are in the array for example if the length of our array is three and we are just in the first one of course we know that there's going to be more questions but if we are at the end of the array let's say we are this particular one here and we cross check out the length of the array we can determine if we are out of questions or we still have some so in here i uh, will just uh, let me just cut this because i know we need it later so the first thing we do is to check the length of the array or rather let me just say check if there are more questions check if there are more questions so actually there are questions to load okay so i'll do that by saying if questions as a length if is greater than the current position so question count value so our question count value is zero the value is zero so if the length is greater than this value that means we have more questions to load so i'll say load question else uh let me see no more questions and i can just console log to say out of questions out of questions okay so let us head back to uh inside our if when the condition is actually met or true so if the length of the array is it's greater than the value we want to actually load the question so we set the current question to questions and then the value of the counter so the counter at the beginning is zero so of course we're going to pick this first one okay so let's save and if everything is correct we should still have this this is the first question so when we click it still responds to clicks which is fine when you lose the first question or when you lose the question it should increment this value here just after it displays the question i want it to increment the counter value okay and uh, let me just before i do that let me console log the current question okay now we have a warning somewhere question counter is not us i use the nest okay so when we click to check what we've done we might not necessarily see any change it's not moving to the next question yet because we need to add something for when we click so when we choose a question we need to tell it okay 
we've chosen a question we've chosen sorry uh response or an answer why don't you move or load question again so when it tries to load this question again remember that this counter value has been incremented so when it tries to load this question again this value which is a counter value is going to be different it's going to be plus one so if we went one before and we made a choice when it loads this function again the question counter value is going to be two so it's going to load the second question uh, like that like that so let us go to uh, the function that takes care of when we choose an option so it's this very one here that says on option clicked what i'm going to do whether you're correct or not we want to still go to the next um so i want to go to the next uh, the next option anyways so after my if and else i'll come down here and say let me just put it to do and uh, say go to next question and the way to do that is just by saying load question so i'll call up that function to load the question again so let's see that in action i click on java it loaded next question and then just click on something else it loaded the next question and then click on something else uh, we should get out of questions so we have out of questions here although this solution doesn't look neat yet we can see the styles are not being reset although it's going to the next question the styles are not being reset and there is not enough time for us to actually see let me refresh to show you so immediately i choose a question or immediately i choose an answer it jumps to the next question but the style is not reset okay we need to get rid of this style okay so let's do that so the way i'm going to do that just to make sure that our code is easy to read i'm going to create a function another function uh, what do we call it let's just put it here i'm putting here and i'm just call it cons clear selected so that resets our style for us and um it's going to take in the div that was selected so i can say div selected or the container that was selected it's going to be an arrow function so what i'm going to do here is based on what was selected so i'll say div selected i'm going to remove i'm going to remove the option correct class just in case it was the correct option and i'm also going to do the same thing let's say it's the wrong option i'll also remove um option wrong remember the name of that class and then i'm going to add the selected i'm going to add class list i'm going to add the options default So what it's going to do is that it's going to clear all the uh, all the selection of the styles that was uh, made based on our selection, and then after which I'm now like to load the question. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to call this clear selected function expression. I'm going to call it when I want to go to the next question, which is what I had right here. So I'll get rid of this here and I'll say clear selected and i'm going to pass in the con the the div container that was selected so here i call it div container so i'll just pass in div container okay so let's save and see if this works so i'll click on java cool it took me to the next questions and the styles actually all reset uh, when I click on uh, let's say 160 it takes me to the next question when I click on music player it says out of questions but then we have an issue we don't even get to see a feedback okay we're not seeing that feedback anymore whether we're correct or wrong so what I'm gonna do is just kind of set a delay for when you select an option so a delay between when you select and for when you move to the next uh, the next question so i'm going to do that inside this our function here 
So I'll put a set timeout. I'll say set timeout. And uh, in my set timeout, just make an arrow function in there. And after the function, I need to put the delay. So let's make it one second, like you say, 1000 milliseconds. It's about one second. So I'm going to take everything here, Ctrl X, and place it inside the arrow function that is inside the set timeout. Okay, cool. Now let's see that in action. I want to click Java. You see, there's a, there's a delay. I can click 160, which is wrong. There's a delay before it goes to the next question. I can see, uh, let's choose moving picture. There's a delay, but then it says out of question. We can't load any more questions, which is fine. But there's something else I'm going to show you. Uh, when I select Java, I can easily select another thing. Okay. <laughs> I can select more than one option. So the next video, we are going to be making sure that you can choose any other option after you've chosen your first option. So if you like this video, any of the videos in this series, please do leave a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel. It helps me and it encourages me to release more videos for you guys. So I'll see you in the next video.